Hey, hello there. In this tutorial, I want to talk about the new set mesh normal. I have seen some examples which are very promising and I was already working in Blender 4.4 on a system with which this kind of thing could work. Um, but now with the set mesh normal, it becomes a lot easier and faster to do. So this is what I'm going to make today. Uh, here you see that it is procedural. It just makes all kinds of uh, spheres on top or objects onto the sphere. Uh, you can use all kinds of shapes and then it will blend them together nicely with the smoothing groups. And if we go into the geometry, you see that there is no fillet edge. It's just a straight edge, but the uh, normals are blending together nicely. So first I want to show you how I did this in Blender 4.4. So this was the system that I was using. Um, if we go into this object, this is the object that I'm projecting. It has a straight edge, no fillet, but the smoothing makes it look like it's uh, smooth. And if we go into the vertex group, because I'm using these faces as a vertex group in the geometry nodes to blend it with uh, the bigger shape. Uh, this is a system that you need in 4.4, which you don't need in 4.5 anymore. So if we take this object and I'm hiding it and go into this geometry node setup, here you see that the, the objects are blending. They're blending quite sharp. Um, if I go into material, see that I can also pull the material or the object away and then it's still blending and that is because I'm using the position I'm setting the position by this vertex group that I have had here from this object um, to go into the base setup here when I make a viewer node you see that I'm starting with just a sphere and here I'm smoothing the sphere, here I'm distributing points on the sphere, and then I'm using this uh, half sphere to project onto all these points, as you can see here. And then in the next step, I'm realizing all of them. So then you can calculate the normals from every sphere to the bigger object that they are projected on. And then I'm setting the position to the base sphere. So here you can see what that result gives us. So this is uh, without setting the position and this is with setting the positions, position to the sphere. And then I'm also capturing here the distance and the normals. So I'm capturing the normals from this bigger sphere object and I'm sending them to my material. So I'm sending a normals material and that is what you need to use to blend them nicely together. And also you need that distance. So if I delete this, here you see the whole node setup. Very easy to copy. And if we go into shading, here you see that I'm using the texture coordinate normal and the normal from the base object and I'm mixing them together by the distance and I'm using I can smooth it a little bit more by making a larger distance here you can see the normal of the, the objects that are projected and this is the normal of the big sphere so now all the small objects, they get the normal of the big sphere and that looks really strange. But when you mix them together, then you see that there's a smoothness to them. So this is the way uh, to do it in Blender 4.4. And now when we go into Blender 4.5, there is no material that you need to set up. I have just a regular material, which is metallic and a bit shiny to show you how the blend goes. And then this is the whole node setup. And we are starting again with a sphere. If I go to the viewer node here, this is just a sphere. I am 
I'm subdividing the sphere here to make it smooth. Uh, down here I'm projecting points again and then I am uh, putting instances on these points uh, and use the rotation of this object to give them the right rotation. You don't have to do that anymore because it will recalculate the normals anyway. Uh, and then this is the smaller sphere. Well, it's just as big, but I'm scaling it over here with a random value. Uh, here I'm rotating it also. And then I'm projecting the instances. You see here that they are whole spheres. So I don't have to cut this sphere anymore to make it work. And that makes it very easy for uh, any kind of procedural systems. So when you change the orientation of all the spheres and the sizes, then you get this uh, effect still working well. So if I uh, join them together, then you see that they are still whole spheres. And when I go out of ghost mode, you see they are blended together very nicely. Now you do see that when two objects come close together, you get a little bit of artifact, um, but you can just give these objects more distance so they won't touch as quickly uh, as before. And then what I'm doing here, I'm giving them all a, a different scale. So they all have different sizes and here, you have the actual uh, nodes that you need to set the normal. So uh, the, imp the mesh is coming in. I'm taking the proximity and then the distance, which I'm plugging into a map range. Then I'm taking the sample nearest normal. So I'm sample nearest surface and I'm taking the vector normal, which I'm mixing with the regular normal. So I mix uh, the normal of one object with the normal of the other object. And I'm doing that twice. So I have the same node here and here. So first I'm doing it on the big sphere and then I'm doing it on the realized instances. When you don't realize them, when I mute this, you see it doesn't work anymore. At least on the uh, instances because you need to realize the geometry to reset these normals. So if I uh, use them here and here, set mesh normal, the new node in 4.5, and I mute it, you see that now I have the blend on the smaller objects. And when I reverse it, I have the blend on the bigger object. And when I use them together, you get a nice blend from one to the other. And then these values, I can set the width and also the sharpness of the blend. Now it does start to look a little bit strange and that is because these values are then different. You want to keep these values the same if you do a blend from one to another and then it will look correct. So this is the whole setup, very easy, very quickly to make. And this is within the node group. You can use this node uh, in your own projects if you want to reset the normals. Um, if you can see here, I also did it with toruses, which you can rotate and it still works really well. But this, is, uh, this thing has a lot of solutions, a lot of ways that you can use it. And um, you can get these node setups on Blender Market for a very cheap price if you don't want to build it yourself. But it's very clear here how to make it yourself. So I hope this is very useful for you. And uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.